this is why, especially if you're dealing with AI, being able to double check exactly what the AI did is very important. And that's why I really want that plugin in PixInsight to be showing us the actual background that was extracted. This was only four weeks ago, and thanks to German engineering skills and precision, we can now mark this requirement as delivered. So I don't know who to thank now more, Queef for having the great idea, or the Graxper team and Jürgen Terpe for making this happen. I think both. <laughs> so all about this breaking news that just arrived right after the trailer. Hey, this is View Into Space. I'm Sascha from Switzerland. So good to meet you and thanks for watching my channel. So let's go step by step what did actually happen today. On one side, the new Graxpert version came out, version 2.2.0. And when you look in the description, it doesn't look that spectacular. It's mostly some error fixes, which is good, but on its own, it wouldn't be worth this video. But at the same time, Graxpert can now a few more tricks when it comes to parameters used by scripts. And that's where it gets interesting. Because Jürgen Terpe just desperately waited for the moment when the new Graxpert version came out and he immediately updated his script within Toolbox. And with the new version of the script, there are two things which it can do more now. First is exactly what Queef wanted, that we now have beside the gradient free picture, also the background model, so that we can actually see what was removed. And then there's another thing which was suggested that actually having the smoothness on zero is not such a good idea because it's too radical. So mostly we want to have the smoothness rather on the other side. So in the new update of the script, the settings stays where you left it the last time. And I think that's the much better option. So let's hop now into Pixie Inside and have a look what you have to do to activate these changes and how they really work. Okay, so we're on my computer. I have not yet installed it and I will do it actually together with you. So the first thing we have to do, we have to go to grexpert.com and download the newest version of Grexpert. That's absolutely vital. Without that, the new script will not work. So I have a Mac, it has downloaded it. So I throw it in the application spin, say replace, and that is done. So when you now open it, and you should open it for the first time in real, then actually you see here, release REL 2.2.0. That means mission accomplished, we're on the newest version. So we can actually leave Graxpert again. So I went now into Pix Inside, and it actually tells me that it has an update. And so we say select all, apply. Okay, we have to exit now Pix Inside. We say yes, it should update, and the update was successful. So with that, I would say, let's try it out, what happens? So as an example here, we take the RGB file from the Elephant Nebula. The gradient here is not huge, but it's definitely brighter here than it is here. So let's see what happens now. We go in Script, Toolbox, Graxpert. You also see here, remove gradients from images using Graxpert, minimum required Graxpert release Arial 2.2.0. Good thing we have that. And you see now here the new box, show background model. So we select that. We can also select if you want to replace the target view or, or have a new imagery created. So at the moment I would say we want to have a new imagery created. We put the smoothing to also demonstrate that on about half. And now let's get going. And I get two images back, that's already great. So that here is the new Graxpert image without the gradient, looks good, it's about even um, from a brightness. We see here the gradient it removed from very dark to very bright, that also looks kind of nice. And we have also here the original picture still available. So that's all fine, so now one thing stays, what if I now open the script again? And you see, all state. This state selected, this state deselected, the smoothing stays, so it's exactly how I left it. So, all I can say, everything works perfect. Let's go and use it. So I hope this was helpful and makes your usage of Graxpert even more valuable. 
And have also a look at my video about the other toolkit scripts, which are really great. See you next time and clear skies. Hey Queef, I'm finished. Now you can record the video. <laughs>